Hey guys, Jerry here, back in Killing Floor, showing you another gun from the Steam Workshop. This time I'm showing you a gun made for the Commando class, so let's go ahead and go Commando. And look at the Type 19, so it costs 1,500 pounds. As I said, it's for the Commando class. It weighs... Uh, weighs. It takes up 9 out of 15 blocks, so you can carry a few other guns, um, but I... Actually, let's go ahead and pick up a Golden AK, just to the hell of it. So... Old AK, so shiny. But no, we're focusing on the Type 19. Now, this is actually a Counter-Strike Source port. This was originally made for a competition basically saying what guns would look like in 2020, so it's supposed to be a futuristic rifle. And um, the closest thing I can say it reminds me to is a P90. That's the, you can kind of tell that's the inspiration, but in general, it's definitely a uh, kind of innovative, interesting weapon, so to say. In terms of the actual performance, uh, the, closest, the closest in this game to this gun would definitely be the bullpup. It's a fairly low-powered, high magazine, uh, holds a lot of bullets in the mag type rifle. So definitely something like the bullpup, and it definitely wouldn't be your main gun that you can fight off the whole map with, but it's capable. It's definitely not bad. The most interesting thing I can say about this gun is the reloading animation. <laughs> this reloading animation is just the coolest thing. Oh, hello. Although the one thing I can say I'm not a big fan of in this rifle is just that the muzzle flash is so big it's very hard to see what you're shooting at. So yeah, it's it's definitely um, definitely a very well done gun. Uh, it's obvious that it's kind of a mod, you know, as usual. Not that that uh, texture is being a little bit flat, not really reacting to the world around it. But in general, a very well done mod. A lot of fun to use. Pretty, I gotta say the the biggest thing about it is just kind of how cool and gimmicky it is. The reloading animation does take a little bit longer than I would like. And it definitely is, uh, the reloading animation does definitely take a little bit long for the damage of the rifle itself, making it definitely not the best gun you're going to be able to pick up. Um, but it's still usable. And like all commando weapons, you can turn it to semi-automatic if you really want to. But again, it's just the design of it is really, really cool. Kind of a, uh, almost a gimmicky design. It's definitely something that, uh, I'm glad I went ahead and tried because it's just, it's just a really cool weapon. I hear a flesh pound. Hi, flesh pound. Let's see what it Two flesh pounds. Why? Alright, eat grenades. Oh, there goes one of them. Let me shoot the other one. Nope. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Alright, this is where I need this gun. Get out of here. Alright, so that's what I was talking about. It's not the strongest weapon, and the reloading animation is very, very slow. So it's definitely not one of the uh, the strongest guns you're going to get. And uh, I think if they basically change the reloading animation right after he puts the magazine back in, needlessly cocking it every single time is what takes so long. Because he has to flip the gun around just to cock the gun. And it's uh, not necessary in any way whatsoever. I have six health. Wow. Gonna try to get some distance between me and the enemies, except for you fuckers need to get out of here.
Those, uh... Those husks need to go. Alright, so some automatic does help with the muzzle flash a little bit. Definitely a very, very accurate rifle, I'll say that much. Now see, if they changed the reloading animation to where you didn't have to flip the gun over to cock it, which I, I kind of don't understand why he does that to begin with. I understand doing animations is probably the most complicated thing about it. Um, but either just make it so he doesn't cock the gun at all, or just make it so he reaches his hand up forward. And put, you know, if anything, just put the cocking handle on the other side. Uh, because the cocking handle is on the right hand side of the gun for I don't know what reason. So, you know, if they put it on the left hand side, that would make their job a lot easier. This gun, if anything, it, it actually kind of reminds me of a mixture between a P90 and a FAMOS. That's what it reminds me of, because the front end side definitely does look like a FAMOS a lot. Alright, let's see how good this thing fares against the Patriarch. Alright, so he's in that pile of dead bodies right to my left. That's really close to me. I heard him. Where'd he go? Uh oh, rocket. <laughs> this lawn chair will protect me. Get over here so I can shoot you. This is a pretty good place to face the patriarch. Patriarch? Patriarch. Because if he gets up close to you, um, or not up close to you, if he shoots a rocket at you, it's a pretty easy dodge. That was real close to me. At least I heard him real close to me. Healing, more specifically. There he is. Yeah. Well, while you're doing that, I'll reload. I have four bullets, I need to reload. Oh shit, he is so close to being dead. Yeah, get out of here, don't shoot that rocket at me. One bullet killed him. Alright, so there you go, there's been the, uh... Oh, there you go, there's been the Type 19. Pretty cool, interesting design for this rifle. Definitely worth looking at. If you want to go ahead and try it, it's on the Steam Workshop. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you later.